Today's a pretty big day for us. We got our daughter's dance competition up here in the mountains. But we're gonna stop and get a bite to eat before we head off to the competition. A dollar nuggets, or whatever they are, like four piece. Um, a uh, no sauce. Two set of the Baconators. Come, what's the small size cups? So now the time has come where all the hard work that our girls have put into it come and just really get shown off. We hope that they do a great job whether they place first or not it doesn't matter I just want them to do a really good job they've worked so hard this year they do bad they deserve to be grounded what? Mama. they aren't gonna get grounded now we're walking back to the car apparently it snowed up here last night and they lost power so they're running like two hours behind it's okay though coming up here on this break though gives me an opportunity to finish up this vlog for today, well, it's actually yesterday's vlog. I thought I was gonna end up getting it posted really, really late, having to edit it and everything, and I'm not too sure about the Wi-Fi here, but I ended up finding out that the building does have Wi-Fi, so we can go ahead and get it uploaded today before it gets too late. That way you guys can see all the landscaping stuff that we did yesterday, which wasn't too much. But next week, we're gonna go pull out, buying plants, getting all of those plants planted because they won't die anymore. It's not supposed to be too cold. Look at that view out there. That is amazing. You, this whole entire mountain area. The whole entire mountains of North Carolina is just beautiful no matter where you are. Once you get up high enough and you can just see the horizon of everything, it's, it's awesome. Going back for round two, trying to see if this competition has started yet. dance competition is over and my daughters did a fantastic job I'm super proud of them they did really good on all their scores did great on all their routines now it's time to get home and show you guys the score from yesterday's antique shopping so we made it back home I wanted to kind of give like a handsaw update show two saws I picked up the other day and two other ones that I've gotten and I just want to you know just share to start with the other day when i went to the antique shop i got two different saws one was a simmons saw and the other was a Diston saw here is the simmons saw it is pretty rusted i tried to find an etch and i think there's one right in here but it's really really faded and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it to reappear using like a perma blue but there is the medallion the handle is in okay shape there's no cracks really and i can probably take it down sand it up and then just throw some boiled linseed oil on there and this will be a good working saw again so that simon saw is a five point saw right here the other saw that i got was this little distant panel saw this one has an etch on it it's really hard to make out i think that it says that it is a number seven which if you guys recall the number saws the ones that are a, a number saw not the d se a series but a number saw is older than the d series and this one has the medallion that says the filla on it which is also older i believe so this was a great little panel saw so you might be wondering why i call one a hand saw one a panel saw i like to distinguish between the two the panel saws what i consider are shorter than the actual hand saws the panel saws are i consider anything shorter than like a 26 inch length of a, of a saw blade and anything 26 or over I consider an actual hand saw then you have like the tenon saws, miter saws, different things like that to distinguish them 
So I call the ones that are shorter the panel saws, ones that are longer the hand saws. All right, so I have two additional saws to show, and these are both uh, distance again. This one right here is a pretty nice one. This one is a distant crosscut saw. I can't, I can barely see an edge. I don't think that I'm going to be able to bring this one back out at all. So that's kind of sad. But this one's got a, an older medallion. You can also tell by the handle. This is an 11 point crosscut and it is very fine cutting. And I mean, by fine cutting, I mean very fine. It leaves a very nice edge. It needs a touch up with the sharpening file, but you know, nothing major. The Simmons, that one cuts really crappy right now, so that one needs to be resharpened. The panel saw cuts like a champ. This one, I believe, is a 10 point, and it's missing a tooth. That sucks. It's up here near the handle area. I don't know if you can see it. You see it right there about four inches in from the end. So I'm going to leave that one for right now. I may sharpen it later. And last but not least is this fine cutting hand saw right here. This one is a 10 point crosscut saw. This one's got the medallion that says Philida on it. It is an early 1900 saw. It has the etch on it. I believe that is a D8 series saw. But this one right from the store cut like a champ. It just tore right through the wood. So there is a little bit of an update on the hand saws. I've got to get them sharp and cleaned up. The distance saws all have fantastic handles on them. All I've got to do is re-oil them. I'm not going to try to get any of that, like the wear off of there. I'm going to leave that and just cover them back up with boiled linseed oil. And they'll be put right up on somewhere. i got to find somewhere new to start storing them. But they're great condition. All of them, they've got the old handles like I like. They're all in great shape. The only one that's somewhat bad is the one with the chip tooth, but that's not a problem. That's got a lot of life on it left. Also, this distant that doesn't really have the etch that is the 11 point cross cut, that one has a ton of life left as well as this Simmons saw. So these, even though they're rusty and stuff like that, you guys can sharpen these bad boys up, put them into good use, and they, they got years and years and years left on them. As long as you take care of them. They're a little rusty, fix them up. They got plenty of life on them. So there is my handsaw finds. Either the two I found the other day and then two other ones. I can't remember when I found them. I think a two, three weeks ago. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on them. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys know of any other way that I can really bring the etches out besides just the perma blue, leave it in the comments because I'm having somewhat trouble with it. I can't figure out how to, if I can bring them back, burn them back, or if they're just going to be mediocre showing. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of scenery from the mountains today. And of course, some shop experience in here with the hand saws. I got to build a bigger sawtail.